Hey everybody, welcome back to Carnivore Quest. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Cassie. In today's video, I wanted to give you all an update. Last time I was solo in front of the camera, it was a rather depressing video. Uh, I explained a binge that we went on and the emotions I was dealing with. Well, that was two weeks ago. What a difference. Not a day, but two weeks makes. My husband Larry and I started the carnivore diet what seems like an eternity ago, but it's been a few years and we're making some great progress. No, we're not at our goal weight and no, we haven't completely fallen off the rails. We had that binge and we've had a couple of other slips that have definitely halted our progress, but we learn each and every day. And one thing that I can say is, although I'm not at my goal weight, I've lost a ton of it. Last check, it was 83 pounds. I know there's been some regain because of the dairy and, and we're gonna discuss all of that. But my husband's lost over 100 pounds and we're doing really well. So I've been asked a handful of questions that I would like to answer today. And I selected three. One question came from Facebook group. Hello, Rosie. <laughs> I grabbed one from YouTube and pulled one off of Instagram. So I'm going to answer those for you. They're pretty general, but I also like to give you a basic update of what I have going on in my life right now. I've got some exciting news and um, just, just a quick chat. Before I get into the video, I'd like to say thank you. There were so many amazing comments and prayers, well wishes, and just great words of advice. And I am so very appreciative of that. Words don't even express that, but I will sum it up into two words. Thank you. So one of the questions asked was, how am I feeling? Well, two weeks later, a whole lot of prayer and cleaner eating, I have to tell you, I am feeling much, much better. Everything that's going on in the world and all the events happening, you know, it really has had a major impact on me. And I'm not the only one. After reading all the comments, so many of you are dealing with this too. And there's a lot to be said about emotional eating. It's a real thing, whether you keep it, keto-ish, you know, and keto is what, 20, 30 carbs or less. I guess it depends on the person. I don't know. We, we, we surpass that. <laughs> there was no carb count whatsoever and there was no moderation in food. I didn't dive into cake. I didn't dive into bread and pasta and my old comfort foods, right? So that was okay. It was a little easier to get back on track. I've got to tell you though, I am still experiencing some cravings. And what I mean by that is going in the store and just longing for other foods when that wasn't an issue before. I would just pass them up and look at them and, you know, almost smug like, you know, not today cake, you know, I don't need you, you're poison, but I'm not caving. And I haven't caved to something like that in a really long time. So I feel good about that. And I'm confident for the future. There's a bright future and I'm really looking forward to it. Which leads me to one of the other questions. How is my diet? My diet's pretty good. It is carnivore. I'd say a loose version of carnivore. I'm still kind of in... I don't know if you want to call it transition off of a three-day binge. But, you know, like I said, those cravings, they, they still kick in. You know, I'm still longing for food. But... It's really not bad. So with that said, I'm eating my meat with some seasoning. I'm not moderating. I'm not doing any fasting, intermittent fasting, any of it, but coffee. Well, let's clear that up. Cream with coffee, okay? Because really, I won't drink coffee black. I will drink it with cream and a little bit of element. I still have that pumpkin spice extract that I've been using in my coffee. Once that's gone, I, I don't know. Am I ever going to be able to truly give up coffee? What's so crazy is that I know what's causing a disturbance in my diet. And it's coffee with cream. Yet, I still go to it every time. This has not been anything new. This has been my struggle the whole time. Only the, a year ago, I realized it. So, mind you, I've been dealing with this for a year. I'm working on it. It's a work in progress, you know. But other than that, my diet is pretty solid. Little bit of cheese here and there. I had the kids over uh, Sunday and I did make uh, my version of chaffles. I think I can make a recipe out of that. And there is a dairy-free version. It was really good. But the kids were there, you know. They're not carnivores, so I wanted to make it a little more friendly for them, just animal-based. And I enjoyed some of that too. It was really good. But yeah, the video up and coming for that. So be on the lookout because it's 
my Chaffle version with a twist. I think it's much better than anything else that is out there. And when you see the video, you'll know why. These last two weeks, I've really had a lot of time to think. I've managed to keep myself busy, but my mind is always busy. It's always racing. And there's a big difference between reality and YouTube reality. One of the comments Larry and I get most, and we get it quite often, almost on every single video is, we are relatable because we're just like you. We were the first people in the carnivore space to document our weight loss, start to finish. Well, we're not finished. <laughs> we're still going through it, doggone. But you know, I mean, that was uncharted territory. So now there are all these other channels popping up. I see all these other people progressing quite nicely and I also see them falling. I have lost count on my hands. How many new channels have popped up and how many people have already fallen? Even people who they've lost 100 pounds, they've done amazingly well. There's even a lot of channels out there that didn't start Carnivore, but they learned of Carnivore and then they started putting it on their channel. Nine out of 10 of them have slipped and fell. And they go through the same thing that Larry and I have, you know, depression and all the aches and pains return, the shame. I would tell my kids, you know, it's okay. Don't worry about it. You're doing great. So I'm going to follow my own advice. I would tell my kids that if it was my daughter and say, honey, you've lost over 80 pounds. You're doing amazing. That's how I look at it now. I'm doing great. Don't care what anybody else says. I live in reality, not YouTube reality. I am a soon to be 51 year old woman who has been through a lot in her life. As many of you know, and if you don't know, go back and look at our old videos. Larry and I have been through a lot. Right? That's just in the last 20 years. I've never even scratched the surface of my childhood. As many of you women know, there are things that happen to little girls, teenagers, young women. You know what I'm talking about. And I've experienced that too. Now I'm taking the initiative to heal myself, not only physically, but emotionally. You know, there's a lot of damage that's been done. There's a lot to be said about body composition and weight redistribution, I guess you can say, because my pants are a little bit tighter in the midsection. Now I wonder if that's from all the stress and the extra cortisol, or you call it dairy, whatever it is. And I do know that caffeine increases your cortisol. That's a lot of belly fat. And that's most of my problem is in my belly. So we've had, again, going back, it's, it's been a fairly stressful life up until, you know, the last nine years, maybe uh, eight years. Okay. Really five after I realized that the cancer hasn't made its recurrence, which I will touch on that. I, I started living a little more stress-free. So yeah. Let's talk about these labs. I know a lot of you are waiting on them and I think I'm just going to wait. I've canceled two appointments with an oncologist and labs. I, I feel fine. Okay. I just, I don't know. I, I think that's, again, that's added stress and I just, I don't know. I don't know. You know, there's a reason. I went against the chemotherapy. There's a reason I'm not getting it retested. I don't know. That test stressed me out. I feel fine. You know, there's no symptoms. Like I've had, a, I'm not experiencing the fatigue. Yeah, I'm a little tired. I, I know there's other reasons for that. Look, I am postmenopausal. okay? I don't take hormones. I don't take extra vitamins. I know how I felt doing lion and I had an amazing amount of energy and I was working out. I haven't been doing that lately either. I know what I need to do. So with that said, I'm just going to hold off for a little while. I go back to my primary care physician in February to have my thyroid rechecked. So maybe I'll have her run the test then. I highly doubt it. I'm feeling really well. I, I'm hopeful that I have had a strict enough diet to where, you know, I feel amazing. Folks, I'm going to be honest with you. I really believe it was a flare up from all of the cheese and about 90 to 95% of you agreed with me. It was a flare up. I've had two major surgeries on my intestines. 
I ate a lot of cheese all at once after being totally clean with the exception of cream in my coffee. Now that does not affect me, not like the cheese does. And especially when you're eating over a pound of cheese, it's a lot of cheese. And my body responded. It didn't like it. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. That's what I'm going to go with. And I'll let you know in February if I decide to have it retested. But if there is an inkling of that something else is going on, rest assured, I will go get tested. But right now, no. I don't need to stress myself out with that. No way. Not doing it. So the third question is, what have I been up to? Well, actually quite a bit. And this is where I'm going to reveal all the exciting news and my upcoming plans, but I've been decluttering the home and doing a spring fall clean. We've done some Goodwill trips and I got rid of some more of my fat girl clothes. I pretty much don't have anything else left, so I can't gain any more weight, okay? I'm done. So moving on, with that being said, we will be holding our six week holiday challenge. We had it last year. It was a huge success. In my opinion, it was the best challenge that we've ever held. Why? It was the first year for us and so many others that we got through the holidays without putting all our weight back on, falling off the rails. We were loose carnivore. I did put out a couple menu videos just to give you a few ideas something that might help get you through the holidays. You know, if you can be strict, you're amazing. You are a strong lion and lioness, and I'm so very proud of you. If you got through it last year, the first time, congratulations, let's do it again this year, okay? I, I have every intention not to put any weight on, and I would be absolutely thrilled if I tightened it up and I lost all my weight. So the exciting news. Drum roll. Actually, I'm going back to work. Um, I was planning to start looking for a job and I was kind of thinking of like maybe Michael's or Hobby Lobby, something like that. You know, I'm like, I'd really enjoy doing that. I was invited by one of my former customers to come and help her manage a brand new brewery and restaurant. <sighs> back into food and beverage. Now I did okay at the butcher shop. I did okay. I did. There were a few things that I would sneak in here and there like pecans. The nuts would play back in. I'd have a little bit of the, a little bite of something here and there, you know, just to, especially if there's a new recipe. You now I'd try it out. I'd have a bite. And yeah, that was triggering. But mind you, this was almost a year ago. I've learned a lot since then. Again, there's no way I'm going back. I don't drink. And when I do, it's because we're celebrating something, you know, I, uh, so I'm not worried about that. There will be no beer, no wine involved, maybe a New Year's or something like that. I'll enjoy a glass or two of wine, but really that's it. I just, I don't like it. So I'm not concerned with that. I know how food is prepared. I'm not going to be nibbling on French fries or anything like that, but I'm hoping to have an impact and be a voice for the ketogenic movement and hopefully contribute to the menu and have a little influence when it comes to a keto other than salads a keto approved meal or even like a carnivore plate other than like charcuterie so I don't know we'll see I'll start in a few weeks and we shall see what happens but yeah I've been working on that you know having meetings with them getting my paperwork together, and I'm really excited. I'm excited to get back into the workforce. You know, Larry's the digital creator, so he's, I couldn't keep YouTube running. I can do really well with my Instagram reels, and I'm still learning with that, but, you know, Larry, he does YouTube, and he knows all the tech stuff, which I don't. So with a video like this, I'm going to film it, I might do a rough edit for him and then I pass the football. I give it to him because then he finishes everything else up. Can you dig it? He puts in all the graphics and, you know, we'll discuss certain editing aspects, but for the most part, it's all Larry. That's his department. He takes care of everything else. I'm clueless. <laughs> Even with our lives, I'm totally clueless. Larry has to set it up. So, which I will get back into. Um, it won't be a weekly thing because I know once I go back to work, I just don't think there's going to be a lot of time. I might be able to sit down and film a video once a week. Um, 
I don't know. I, I don't know what my schedule is going to be like. Anybody who is in management or has been in management, you know, it's a very time consuming job. It's, it's demanding. I don't know. So we shall see what happens. And I'm just, I don't know. I, I just wanted to give you all an update and let you know how I've been. I know some of you have been worried about me and I thought, doggone, I haven't done anything in two weeks. Now I was on a live Friday with the boys, but not everybody watches those live streams. I think we got like 1300 views or something like that. A lot of you care about us and you were curious how we were doing, how I'm doing. And I just wanted you to know I'm doing really well. I continue to pray. That's what I've done. I prayed and I let it go because I have literally no control over anything. I'd like to say other than what goes in my mouth, but we don't even know what they're doing with the food anymore. So I'm letting that go too. I am. I'm just going to do my best. That's all I can do. Pray and do my best and hope for the best. I hope this gave you all a little clarity, maybe a little understanding. And, you know, maybe you had an aha moment. I, I don't know what, <laughs> but maybe you did. And I just want you to know that I'm so appreciative and I love you all. And I thank you all for being such an amazing community and so supportive and just awesome. Just overall awesome. So until the next time, my chosen family, thank you again. I love you and no sugar, no carbs, no cheating.